Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Thankful Thursday. This is an open tag, if you are not aware, that was started by Singing Toad, our brother up in Canada. Great open tag, Dave. Thank you very much. Um, I've thanked these channels before, I think informally in other videos, so I'm just doing a formal Thankful Thursday. Um, first off, I'd like to ch thank Ken at Last Chance Knives. Um, he, I recently had a video and I was talking and he, I was watching his video on this Jack Wolf knife and I was saying that I have a poor man's Jack Wolf, a Rough Rider, and uh, I think he watched the video and he was like, hey, I, I have a Jack Wolf I can send you if you would like to do a comparison. Blew my socks off. Absolutely blew my socks off. That somebody would trust me with a $300 Jack Wolf knife just amazes me. And I'm taking very good care of it, Ken, so do not worry. Uh, so that was very nice. So when I got it, I think within the next day, I started doing some tests on it. So I did a series of three videos. Um, if you'd like to check it out, please do. Ken's an awesome channel. He's been around since before I started. And um, I was really drawn to his channel for... A lot of reasons of of how he fixes things and his way of thinking and just a different overall style of channel and I was really impressed by him and I've did some short films regarding him releasing uh, videos early on Monday or Tuesday to me I thought it was early but I'm on the West Coast so it was it was good fun so he had sent me this Jack Wolf knife he sent me this awesome slip, custom made, and I really like how he did it. He folds it over, and so it allows, so unlike this Jack Wolf slip, where the knife can only go so far into it, this goes all the way to the bottom, and he's like, throw a trapper in there. So here's a full-size trapper, fits perfect, absolutely perfect. I kind of like how it's squared off at the bottom, so it won't, you know, kind of roll around in your pocket or roll over sideways. I've heard people on Jack Wolf videos comment like, hey, you know, don't make it around the bottom, make it a square bottom. It keeps rolling over my pocket. And he's like, oh, thanks for the consider, you know, I'll consider it. Well, Ken went and made a slip. And it works great. It's fantastic. It's fantastic leather. There's no stampings on it. No signature, unfortunately. But um, I really thank you for this, Ken. It is an awesome slip. Ken also sent me some of his um, Pivot Flush and Pivot Lube. Now, the Pivot Flush is a lot thinner. Pivot Lube is thicker for oiling afterward. This is all food safe, food friendly. Great stuff. You can find it on Etsy under LC Knives on Etsy. Uh, great stuff. Thank you, Ken, for sending me that. He also sent me some more leather conditioner. Now, this cube here is the old formula, and uh, it's a little drier. I kind of really like it. He sent me the new formula, and the new formula is good. It really goes into the leather really well. So I've actually been comparing them, and... Um, so I have leather conditioner from him. He makes great leather conditioner. I use it on the wood on my Arthur Wright and Sun knives. You can rub it into your hands afterward, also food safe. You can also use it on carbon steel blades. Just fantastic. Thank you very much, Ken. Like I said, if you haven't checked out Last Chance Knives, fantastic channel. If you're into weightlifting, he even has some weightlifting videos. Also, I'd like to thank Randy's WSG. All of you guys know him. If you don't, go check out his channel. Subscribe to him. One of the nicest guys in the community. Um, he sent me one of his original slips uh, a while back. And I, th I think I thanked him. I don't, And I probably showed it in a video. But this is one of his originals. And it's, it's really cool. He's like, oh, I could do better, you know, and it was just starting. And I actually really like this slip. It's a great size. He has a lizard stamped into it. Um, I put my own beads on here. Um, what I love this slip is wide enough and deep enough. It's perfect for like a Barlow. <clears throat> Look at that. Fits a Barlow. Perfect. 
And I actually use this for a lot of my knives. And um, like I said, it was one of those earlier slips. And so recently, I got to the mailbox yesterday and he sent me another slip. Now I've been commenting on these octopus, blue octopus slips for a while that he's had. And I'm like, dang, that is nice. I wanted one with an octopus for so long. I think I asked J.O. Ventures if he had an octopus stamp. I didn't think he had one. So I, he kept showing these and sending them to people. And I'm like, man, well, it came in the mail yesterday. And this is an absolutely awesome blue. I don't know if the blue's picking up here. It just goes so well with this Caribbean saw cut. Look at that blue. It's hard to tell the light here, but it matches really well. Um, love the octopus. Thank you so much, Randy. And I can tell his uh, leather work is getting much better. Like the ends, the stitching. He is uh, he is coming along awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to send him something for this. I mean, that is just... I have so many slips from J.O., and now I have Randy and, and Ken sent me a slip. Uh, I've gone slip crazy. It's so nice. Now I have all these custom slips. I don't, I don't even really need to use my old Rough Rider ones anymore. There's so many beautiful slips here. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. Now I've mentioned before, uh, Michael at Rasputin's Castle, he had sent me like three knives for my giveaway. And um, I actually gave one away to a friend. It was the, the Shrade sears craftsman lockback to my buddy he had an old sears craftsman from his father and i thought no better person than him to have it and he said he got all teary-eyed when i sent it to him he was so happy um and michael had also sent me this coin generosity goodness selflessness and kindness thank you for sharing your kindness pass it on and I have this, and like I said, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna pass this on. But um, thank you very much, Michael. That's what it's all about. The community is sharing and giving. Um, another channel here. I do not have a sticker. I don't have a sticker from Rasputin's Castle. I'm not sure if he has stickers or not. Um, recently, Mo of Kirby Creek Outfit sent me this carving of myself. And just blows my mind. He has me in my hoodie. I told him, put a beard on me. I'm growing my beard out. I don't think my uh, beard is as wispy as this, but maybe it will when it gets longer. It's more kinky, curly, kind of uh, Scottish-style Velcro beard. Uh, this looks a lot like me. And I've used it and already used it in some short, short films on shorts recently this last weekend. Um, a lot of fun. The dude stays with me all the time. And I think I may have mentioned it before, but a while back, out of the blue, I mean, I sent him I sent him a card for Christmas and some stuff. Not much, but out of the blue a while ago, he had sent me this case, uh, Stockman. And I believe this is the brown bone. It looks a lot like the amber bone, but I believe it's the brown bone because of the, the arrowhead shield. But I'm comparing it to my Amberbone uh, Copper Lock, and it looks a lot like it. This is like a medium Stockman. Blew my mind when I first got it. Actually, it still is blowing my mind. This is the first time anybody has ever gifted a case knife to me. And this was my first case Stockman. Or, I'm sorry, I had a 75 before this. So this is my first case medium Stockman. But I did have a case 75 and a great size for carry. You know, I just have to, I just have to, um, say thank you formally. I may have done another video, but it is thankful Thursday. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, these are all the knives I'm going to show tonight. Back out at work tomorrow. I know I've been slow to release anything. I've been really busy, so uh, maybe this weekend. You guys have a very thankful, wonderful, and blessed Thursday. Take care.